But tell me how you allocate capital then with all of that said, whether it's in fixed income or in equities as well. So, Maria, I think it's a really big deal. And the last time we were on the show, we talked about that all of a sudden you can buy bonds again. I mean, for two years you couldn't buy bonds. You had to buy. Remember, I was, I, I was so boring, I'm sure, when I talked about just buy the two-year note, buy the two-year note, buy the two-year note. All of us, because the Fed was going to keep raising rates, why take a risk? Now you can buy longer-term interest rates. So what it means for bonds and equities, you can build a balanced portfolio. You can buy some corporate bonds. You can buy some high-yielding debt, maybe some emerging markets. Create about a 5% yield in fixed income. You know, my guess is equities in the next couple of years, moderately slowing economy, maybe, maybe mid to high single digit returns. I can own some equities, I can own some interest rate product, and if I'm wrong on equities and they're, and they're weaker, interest rates are going to help you now. So you can build balance and have a good performing portfolio. If you have a 60 40 uh, stocks debt mix, last year you lost 3.5%. This year you're up 8 Mm. So own some equities, own some bonds, build balance in the portfolio. Don't be worried about owning five-year treasuries, 10-year treasuries, 10-year munis, 20-year munis. They give you some nice ballast in the portfolio, but just create more balance. You, and what is a moderating economy, but not bad. Do you want to be all in in the U.S., or do you also want to look overseas? I mean, I know so, Europe, they're lucky to get 1% growth this year. <laughs> you called it right. I mean, it depends on what, you know, what you're trying to do within the portfolio. There are, I actually think the emerging markets, if rates aren't going higher and the dollar is not going to go significantly higher. Actually, you can own some emerging markets. Some of the emerging markets yield 7 to 9% local rates. That's pretty good carry. Listen, I think the growth paradigm in Europe is it's a tail risk in the world today. I would argue actually maybe China's a tail risk in the world, but if we get some progress, which seems like we are, you'll see China stabilize. You know, do I, there's some valuations in Europe. There's some stocks in Europe that trade with dividend yields. They're like kind of Daimler, ING. They trade with dividend yields of 6 to 8%. Mm. Not bad taking some of that big, big... Uh, big market cap companies pay you nice dividend yields. You know, would I own a little bit of that? But, you know, by and large, U.S. is going to grow better than the rest of the world. So what are you going to be looking at in the U.S. for a potential 2020 move if we were to see the Fed cut rates? Would, is that something you would expect not this year but yeah. next year? I mean, it's possible. But, I, you know, when people say, gosh, the economy is going to be in a recession in Feb 2020, like that's the date, I, I just don't buy it. By the way, the, the first quarter of every year, is the slowest part of the year, and then it improves in the second quarter. So this year, maybe we get one and a half, one six growth in the first. We're going to get into the twos in the second quarter. So I think some of that, some of that, my gosh, we're, we're really slowing, is is um, is is overdone. I think the next couple of quarters, the things we're going to watch. The service economy is doing great. Yeah. Consumption is great. Uh, we got to watch housing. That is really important. My sense is it bounces. And I think the industrial production, the manufacturing data that's been soft, yeah. some of it led, led by global trade. In yeah, China. European PMIs were horrible. Horrible, last horrible. Yeah. horrible. That's, that we've got to watch. Does manufacturing start to stabilize? I'm not worried about the service sector at all. All right. We, we will leave it there. Rick, it's great to have you. Thanks. Thanks and and you're going to be my special guest this weekend yep. on Wall Street. So we will see you this weekend. Rick Reeder from BlackRock.